And everyone, today we are going to talk about the new pickers that were introduced in Material 3. So let's see what we need to get started. So we need the Material 3 dependency. And now let's go and create a new composable called Time pick, Time Picker Screen. And let's create the screen. So Time Picker Screen. Or this will have a uh, oops time picker state equals remember oops remember time picker state and now we need to um, pass these parameters and we'll get them from the um, lo local date time oh, sorry date time. Kernel now let's local date time dot now and let's pass the is twenty four hour um let's say Tron. Now let's add the initial hour date time dot hour and initial minute date time dot minute and now we need to call the time picker on time picker and pass the state so time picker state and let's opt in for this and now we can call it in the main activity so time picker screen and let's run the app and see how it looks as you can see we can select the hour and now let's select the minute and now let's go and create the new file called date range picker screen and let's create the composable date range picker screen and now let's create the state so range uh, date range picker state equals remember date range picker state we also need the date time from the local date time dot now and now we need the helper function to convert the local date time to millis and uh, let's say to millis and this will be this dot at zone zone id system default to instant and to epoch milli now we can say the initial selected started date millis will be the date time dot to millis. The month will be null because we want to display the current month. The end date will be date time dot plus days plus days three days to millis. And the last one, I think, display. The initial display mode will be a display dot picker, and let's opt in for this. And we also need a year range: 2023 and 2024. And uh, the last thing we need to do is to call the date range picker. And pass the state so date range picker state and now let's add it to the main activity and let's see how it will look so date range picker screen and let's run the app so here is our date range picker we can select the initial day and the last day we can also click on the pencil and this will show if we go here and say display mode dot input but i think the picker is much uh, it's much beautiful let's start by creating the last picker uh, the date picker screen let's create the composable date picker screen and the state well um date picker state equals remember date picker state 
and now we need to get the um date time local date time that now and let's pass the parameters so we need the year range again let's uh, say 2023 2024 oh too much dots um we also need the initial selected date date time dot to millis we already have the function in the date range picker screen um let's say the display mode it's a picker again opting for this and the initial displayed mod millis it's null because we want to display the current month so let's create a date picker on date picker and pass the date picker state and replace the current screen into the main activity date picker screen let's run the app and see how it looks so here is our date picker we can select any date we want we can change the display mode from uh, picker to input and if you like this video follow me for more content like this and make sure to also follow my blog if you want to have an extra content let's say and you also have the github repository in the description see you next time